For the second year in a row, Marquette will head to the Sweet 16 after playing spoiler against Murray State, winning 62-53. While Jay Crowder and Darius Johns know them both had big games, both said that some unexpected players made a statement on the national stage. I think everybody was able to see Junior Purdue um, at the point of our, of our team um, nationally. He's, he's always been a good player, but I, I, I think everybody uh, who watches basketball was able to see that. What about DJ's answer about Junior? After all you guys are going, we need a point guard. Buzz Williams drew a comparison between Junior Cadugan and freshman Todd Mayo. Everybody jumped off the boat, but Todd couldn't make a shot. He played an NCAA tournament road game. That sucker ran the game. Forced his one time. And Isaiah Cannon has an all record. Another key figure for Marquette was Devontae Gardner who scored six consecutive points for the Golden Eagles. Last year when I didn't play, I, I called Devontae instant offense, just like instant open. That's, that's what he is. I mean, he comes in and it's just like boom. No, no, no funny business, no nothing. He gets straight to it. And, and nine times out of ten, if you give him the ball where he needs it, he's going to score. And, I mean, I'm glad to have him back. He can, he can weigh that big body on some of those guys, so I don't have to worry about it as much. But it's, it's, it's good to have him back. While each individual accolade is important, Buzz Williams has his eye on the bigger picture. It's not about an individual for us. You don't get free throw days, you don't get assisted baskets, and all of those things the way you ever were built. And it's about an individual. It's not about me. It's about us. That team mentality was evident in the second half. Junior Cadugan approached Jay Crowder after a key basket and said now or never. Now, the Golden Eagles head to Phoenix, where they will take on either Florida or, for the third time this year, Norfolk State. Reporting from the KFCM Center, Tess Quinlan, ME TV Sports.